and I'm just so proud that this was my boss, this was my mentor, this was my friend. Rest in peace, Mario Cuomo. Former New York Governor Mario Cuomo passed away in his home in Manhattan yesterday from heart failure. He was 82 years old. Now, sadly, this happened just a few hours after his son, Governor Andrew Cuomo, was inaugurated into a second term in office. So we wanted to remember the life of former Governor Mario Cuomo. So I went and met with some of his friends to talk to me about his impact that he had on their lives. So I went and met with former mayor David Dinkins in his home because his term actually overlapped with the former governor's. He told me. I would call the governor on occasion when I was mayor and he would have one of his top people call my first deputy to find out what he, what I wanted before he returned the call. <laughs> it was amusing, but uh, I usually got to speak with him. Then I went to Sirius Radio to meet up with Randy Gordon, who the governor appointed as commissioner of boxing during his terms in office. And he had some really special moments to tell me about the former governor, uh, how he first thought that when he was offered this job that it was a joke, a prank, that his friends were pulling on him. Uh, and then it took the governor, the former governor Cuomo, actually giving him directions to his Manhattan office. He had me come up to his office on the 57th floor of the World Trade Center. And when I met him, and I had a police escort take me into his office, oh my gosh. the door opened. And I realized he came walking over to me, bigger than life. He was about six foot one, huge shoulders on him. And I held out my hand and he said, do you still think it's not me? And then he gave me a big hug instead of shaking my hand. And he said, welcome my new commissioner. Now he's also remembered for his 1984 Democratic National Convention speech in San Francisco. And the president is right. In many ways, we are a shining city on a hill. But the hard truth is that not everyone is sharing in this city's splendor and glory. On a personal note, our very own senior producer, Jason Rosenberg, actually has a great personal story. I understand, Jason, that uh, the governor sent you a note on the occasion of your bar mitzvah. I was at my bar mitzvah, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, a good friend of our family, Gene Burke, who is uh, big in the NYPD, uh, comes up to speak and he talks about how Governor Mario Cuomo sent a letter congratulating me on my bar mitzvah and he had some wonderful things to say. Jason Marcus Rosenberg, I salute you and your outstanding family today and extend to you all a heartfelt mazel tov on this occasion. Sincerely, Mario Cuomo. How about that, huh? How about that? A heartfelt mazel tov. It's time for change. It's time for someone smart enough to know, strong enough to do, sure enough to lead, the comeback kid, a new voice for a new America. Because I love New York, because I love America, I nominate for the office of the President of the United States, the man from Hope, Arkansas, Governor Bill Clinton.